Emily? I feel a lot of pressure to be very charming after all those <laughs> answers, but um, I think, I mean, I started working when I was eight, um, so for me, it wasn't, when I first started working, it wasn't really about film performances, it was just the realization that, I mean, whenever, when I was a kid, I, I used to become obsessed with certain books and just dress like that character and become that character. Um, Bessie in The Magic Faraway Tree. I used to just dress like a little schoolgirl from the 60s and just go and climb a tree in my backyard and, and read that book. And so that's kind of, I mean, when I realized that, that I could make a living out of doing that, that was kind of amazing. Um, but I went, <clears throat> I think because I started so young, I had this idea that you had to be a certain kind of actor. You know, you had to be, you, you were serious or you were, you were funny or you were kind of sexy. And I, 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 I I, I suppose I kind of kept thinking that till I was about 15 and, and I decided to, to stop acting. Um, I didn't think I wanted to do it again. And I think one of the films that stuck with me was probably Annie Hall and just Diane Keaton's performance in Annie Hall because it sort of made me realize that you could be funny and charming and cool and smart and complicated and it didn't just have to be so, you know, it, it didn't need to be pigeonholed like yeah. I thought that it did. And that film still, like, you know, I, I watch it. Pro I probably watch it once every two weeks. I mean, I just sit in the bath and watch that film whenever I feel kind of, I don't know, a little bit down or something. And so, yeah, I mean, I think that's something that's that stuck with me and inspired me to be. I don't know, just to not let myself be boxed into one certain kind of role. I guess. Well, we can already see the complicated characters uh, being embraced. Like, so.